Hey guys, my name is Wenji. I make lifestyle, life hacks, DIY, craft videos on my main channel. And I created Lurdy Corns, which is an amazing, cute, wonderful kid series that teaches you random things about life, like why do we burp or what's the smallest planet in this solar system. And I created this so that we can contribute to kids around the world that are not as lucky as us. Many of us have been given an amazing opportunity to have an education, but this isn't the case for a lot of kids around the world. So this channel was created to help those kids that need support and funds to actually get an education. So all the profit from Lurdy Corns, from all the ads that play on the series, go straight towards charities to help these kids. So I hope you guys support this series as well. All we need you guys to do is subscribe and watch and you guys can contribute to a really great cause. And plus, it's so entertaining. I love the characters. And speaking of the characters, I actually want to request Chopper to make me a Franken Tim cake because I think that will be super adorable. So guys, my favorite character is Potato Corn, so maybe I should request for him to make that as well. Thank you so much, Chopper. You are amazing and talented and I can't wait to see the cake. Ah, uh, thanks, Wenji. That's very kind of you to say. Here is your Frank and Tim cake and stay tuned. I'm going to make potato corn as well because he's my favorite. What I've done is I made six cakes, which I don't actually use all of them because once I leveled them off and stacked them up to get an idea of the height of the cake, it would be too high. So I just leveled off four of the cakes and I chose a vanilla, a strawberry and two chocolates. And I just filled them and stacked them up to the desired height and gave them a crumb coat all the way around, making sure the cake is sealed. Now with Frank and Tim's head, it's on a bit of a slant and I didn't want to compromise the structural integrity of the cake. So I just built up one side with a little bit more buttercream to give that appearance of a slight lean back. And this is basically a Frank and Tim inspired cake, not an actual reproduction of his head. So once I was happy with the buttercream, I dyed some fondant green and then rolled that out into a very long rectangle because to drape this over the top and try and smooth out the pleats would be an absolute nightmare. Um, side tip, I did actually try it that way and it was just impossible. So I did the long rectangle, trimmed it off nice and neat, wrapped it around my rolling pin and then went around the entire edge, letting it just fall over the top because I'm going to trim that away anyway. And once I got to the seam, I just trimmed that back a little bit to take some weight off and then measured out where it was and cut it so it was flush with the other seam and then smoothed that out with my hand and it almost disappeared. Then it was time to roll out some dark chocolate fondant. I rolled that out to about the thickness of a pencil and then when cutting out the circle, I left it about, I'd say 10 centimeters around the edge of how big the cake is. Now this is where I had to pay attention to his hairline because there is three bumps at the front and then it goes down into his sideburns that go around the back of his head. And then I just sort of smoothed that out with the sculpting tool. And then with the offcuts, I got a shot glass and cut out two round eyes using the cling film over the top that gives nice bubbled edges and they just round it off. It looks really cool. Once they were ready to apply, I put some water on the back and stuck them on and a little long flat snake for his mouth. Then I wrapped some gum paste around a long skewer and then rolled it flat so it made like a little unicorn's horn. And I added some water to that and then sprinkled glitter all over the top. His horn isn't necessarily glittery, but I wanted something to be really sparkly on it because it just looks cute. I popped that in the top and then pushed it down. Then it was time to go in with a dry brush and smooth out all the edges around his hair and eyes. This gives you a nice clean look around the cake. So if you don't want to use your finger, just use a dry brush because it's a lot easier to control. Then I gave it a bit of a steam over with the cake steamer to give him that nice glossy look and for his bolts I just pushed some dark chocolate fondant on and made that into a cylinder then some end stoppers plugged them into the side of his head and painted them silver with an edible food paint. Whilst using the silver edible food paint I realized that multiple brush strokes would leave streaks so if you want to let it dry fully before you apply a second coat that would be best. And there you go there's your Frank and Tim cake from Learnicorns. Please check out the Learnicorns channel, which you can see up above, and also more of Wenji. She's amazing, and big shout out to Matt and Casey, who worked very hard on this series. I'm so proud of you guys, and I really love what these are doing. Thanks, guys. Catch you next time.